Well, we're very focused on making sure that we do help the most vulnerable in Calais. Um, we've already moved out over 200 children. And my priority as we go forward taking more children out of that camp is to focus on the most vulnerable, which is why we've particularly been focusing on young girls. Only 10% of the camp is girls, but last weekend about a third of the young people we brought over were girls. So focusing on the vulnerable is always going to be our priority. We have a very strict, but I hope generous approach to it, making sure we assess and bring over the ones who really are the most vulnerable, who are under 18, who are better off being in the UK. It will be another few hundred. We probably have about another two and a half weeks to do that, but we haven't fixed on a number. We want to do our bit. The UK is a country that will always help the most vulnerable, and we are committed to taking another few hundred. But this is in France. We have to be clear that this is an issue for the French to try and sort out, even though we are doing our bit to help them. One of the reasons that the French were so keen to dismantle this camp is because it does act as a draw, and the additional children or other people who've been arriving in the past few days are being drawn into the camp because of the opportunity they see of going elsewhere. So I think it's absolutely right that the French do take this action. We do have an imperative to help, but we must be careful where we offer that help so it doesn't off act as a draw for people to send their children across Europe, across the seas, and we know what happens to some of those people. So it's very you know, it's challenging to get the right balance to make sure that we use that moral imperative in the right way, but don't encourage other families, other children to make that journey. Those man-child migrants. Some were as old as 29. Social workers discovered hundreds of adult asylum seekers have lied about their age in order to enter Britain as teenagers. A 29-year-old is among the hundreds of adult asylum seekers in Britain who lied to officials and posed as children. According to newly released official figures, official age assessments carried out by social workers across the country revealed that a staggering number of those claiming to be lone refugee children were far older than they pretended to be. In some cases they were close to 30 and could have posed a risk to school pupils or foster families had they not been checked. The revelation comes after concerns were raised that some of the refugees allowed into Britain from the jungle camp in Calais were no longer teenagers. Figures obtained by the Mail on Sunday from 50 local authorities across England show that social workers carried out 2,028 age tests between 2013-14 and 2015-16.